Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult, but with blessing. Because to this you were called so that you can inherit a blessing. Friends, we are commanded today not to repay evil for evil, but with a blessing. This is our calling, we are told, friends. We are called to be a blessing. We are called to release a blessing. Why? Because that is key to our own blessing. Because if we bless others, that will be also our inheritance. We are called to inherit blessing. If only we bless others, friends. See, this is part again of the principle of sowing and reaping. We bless others and we shall be blessed. And therefore, let us not repay evil for evil. Let God handle those who persecute us. Let God handle those who curse us. Don't curse those that are cursing you, friends. We are called to bless. We are called to release a blessing. Because that is what we want. See, friends, we want to be blessed, then bless others. Therefore, friends, let us not look for faults in others and curse them. Let us not repay them for what they are doing to us. It's better to suffer for doing good rather than to suffer for doing bad. Because if we curse them too and if we repay them with evil, that's something bad. And if we suffer, friends, we deserve the suffering because we have repaid them with something that is also bad, maybe even worse than what they have done to us. But if we choose, friends, to be kind to them, to be loving, to be more forgiving, just to embrace, embrace them as friends, friends, then you will inherit a blessing. What a better way, friends. To receive a blessing just re just release a blessing to them amen don't repay them they can they can do something bad to you but don't repay them with something evil repay them with something that is good who knows friends you might win them over by just being good to them then they will be your friend for life today they could be your enemy they are mocking you today. They are bullying you today. Friends, don't repay them in the same manner. No. Pay them back with something good. Because that is something that is to be repaid to you. Because the things that are good that are do, you are doing to them is a blessing. That's why we are told, friends, that don't repay evil for evil, but with a blessing. Release the blessing. Release love. Release compassion and kindness to them. And those very things that you are doing to them, friends, will come back to you. Multiple times, friends, you will be so blessed because you have sown good seed in a person. Amen. So, avoid repaying evil. For evil, guard your tongue, guard your heart, guard your actions. Amen. Let all this synchronize with what you are now believing. You believe that you want to be blessed? Then do it. Say it. Friends, think about these things. Think about the good things that you would like to do in a person, not the bad things. Don't meditate on the bad things, friends. Meditate on the good things that you intend to do to a person and do it. Hallelujah. Then you will inherit a blessing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face and upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace, his shalom. God bless. See you next time. Bye.